this is Top Accolade African News. I am Abiodun Mohamed. South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa will step aside if charged over an alleged cover-up of a robbery at his private farm, according to his spokesman. Should the President be charged, he would gladly step aside should it be the case. Presidential spokesperson Vincent Maguire told journalists, dubbed Farmgate, the controversy surrounds the robbery at Falafala Farm back in February 2020 and the alleged aftermath. The theft was allegedly committed by Namibian nationals who conspired with a domestic worker at the farm. The president is accused of kidnapping, bribery and acting unlawfully by allegedly authorizing the pursuit of the suspect who stole an estimated $4 million from his farm. He denies any wrongdoing. Ghana's president, Nana Akufo Adu, has sacked Charles Adubuayen, the Minister of State for Finance. The presidency said on Monday after allegations of impropriety were circulated by a well-known Ghanaian investigative journalist. The president fired Adubuayen after being made aware of allegations leveled against him in an expose. The presidency statement said, adding that Akufo Adu had also referred the matter to the special prosecutor for further investigations. Adubuayen did not immediately respond to a request for comment. From pressmen. Finance Minister Ken Ufuri Atta is also facing calls for dismissal from members of parliament who accuse him of corruption and economic mismanagement as the country faces its worst economic crisis in a generation. The allegations against Adubuahen did not appear to be related to those previously raised against Ufuri Atta. Several people were reported injured during a fresh protest on Sunday in the self declared Republic of Somaliland over the extension of President Musebi Abdi's term by two years. The protest came after the opposition Wadani and UCID parties declared the government illegitimate. President B's first term in office was due to end on Sunday, but lawmakers last month extended it by two years. This was after the Electoral Commission called for a delay in the elections due to financial and technical constraints. The president was first elected in November 2017. Wadani and UCID parties have said they no longer recognize him as president. Police have warned against more protests and asked people to remain in their homes. Several people were killed and dozens wounded in August when police fired at pro-opposition supporters calling for elections. The tensions over the president's term threatens to undermine relative stability in Somaliland, which declared independence from the rest of Somalia in 1991. The head of the International Monetary Fund on Sunday welcomed a long-awaited debt deal by Chad's creditors and said it would reduce the African country's risk of debt distress while guarding it against downside risks, including lower oil prices. She said the debt treatment agreed by the creditors was consistent with the objectives of Chad's IMF-supported program and should pave the way for completion of the first and second reviews that would enable disbursement of IMF funds. Chad on Friday said it had reached a debt agreement with Swiss commodities trader Glencore PLC and other creditors. Sources said the deal called for some debt relief in 2024 in the form of a reprofiled debt service schedule, but added that it would not reduce Chad's overall debt level. The announcement drew criticism from World Bank President David Maupas, who said he remained deeply concerned about Chad's longer-term ability to pay it $3 billion in external debt given the absence of actual debt reduction. Sources familiar with the agreement said it would protect Chad if oil prices dropped again while restoring confidence and opening the door to fresh resources, but they agreed that Chad's overall development needs were immense and eclipsed its external debt. A police officer has been crowned this year's winner of South Africa's version of the talent show Idols, which is franchised across the globe. Warrant Officer Tafelo Molomo, 29, beat 10 other contestants as the season finale ended on Sunday night. He fell to the floor and prayed on stage after he was announced the winner. The country's police minister was at the show and congratulated the winner, saying, in quote, the officer serves as an inspiration to police officers across the country to believe in their talents as they serve and protect the nation. Molomo walked away with about 1 million rand in prize money. He said he will return to his police work, but South Africans on Twitter were not convinced, given the wide range of other prizes he won, including a recording deal and a car. That is the size of Top Accolade African News. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy New Week!